chapter 1, verse 23. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Lord, may you richly bless this reading of your holy word and may Jesus be with us, in us, above us, beyond us. May we celebrate that you're with us this day. And may it change our lives in what we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm sure many of you know, this is a prophecy fulfilled from Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. May God meet with us in a special way. We continue our series on the Incarnation. That's just a big seminary word. It means that God became a human being. Fully God, fully human. Not half and half. 100% God, 100% human. Came to be with us in a special way. And he shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. Buckle your seatbelts. This is, we're going to go through the first two points very quickly. Life can be very hard and extremely challenging. God's Word says, Fear not many, many times. It reports 365 times, one for each day of the year. It says it so many times that it must be a big problem. In the book, The Incarnation by Adam Hamilton, he writes this. There's tragedy and death, but there is life, hope, goodness, and love. And yes, even a world where there, there's a lot of fear. Second point. So that's the problem. Fear, trouble, and difficulty. Second point is here's the antidote that God gives to fear. God is with us. Jesus is with us. I remember years ago when I attended a service, I believe it was our fifth anniversary, fourth or fifth anniversary in the Poconos, and an old man said, do you want to see God? Sure. He said, look to Jesus and see the picture of God in Jesus. You want to know what would make God mad? Look to Jesus. You want to see what would make God have compassion? Look to Jesus and see the picture of God in Jesus. So I'm like, there's a problem of fear. God gives us an antidote that he's with us. Don't always make it go away. Sometimes courage is not the absence of fear. It's that God is with us and we can still move in His presence. And our response is to trust. There's a great verse in Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him my heart trusts. And He helps me. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him my heart trusts. And He helps me. God is with us in life in the days. But you know, a day can be too long. They say one day at a time. A day can be too long. In the hours. I can trust you, an hour can be too long. In the minutes. Sometimes a minute can even be too long. God is with us in the moments of life. That's what I want to kind of 
to celebrate today, how God is with us in the moments of life, in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who wants to live in us through the Holy Spirit, but just doesn't live in us, he's also beyond us. How important is a moment? You can ask Jacob that after wrestling with God all night long with an angel. Some scholars believe that he was wrestling with the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. That it was Jesus before he came down on earth. And you know what happens to Jacob? His hip gets put out of joint. And he gets pinned down. Maybe today you feel pinned down. Maybe you feel pinned down by your pain. Or by COVID-19 or by a situation you're in. How important is a moment? Ask Jacob. Because his hip's out of joint. He's pinned down. He's wrestled all night long. And Jacob realizes something. He needs God's blessing. Pinned down, hip out of joint. He says to God, I, says to the angel, I won't let go unless you bless me. And he gets blessed. He even gets a new name. Your name shall no longer be called Jacob. He'll grab her. Your name is now Israel. Prince with God. How important is the moment? I learned about this this week. His name was Larry Bindorf. It was a beautiful day. September 5th, 1975. President Gerald Ford was in a hotel, I believe in Sacramento. It was a beautiful day. He said, let's not take the limo all walk. In that morning, a lady named Lynette Fromm, nicknamed Squeaky, strapped a Colt 45 to her ankle. Larry Bindor, Secret Service agent, was on President Ford's left shoulder. That was his job. You're on the President's left shoulder, and all of a sudden he saw a lady reach down to her ankle to grab something. Larry Bindorf was on her like white on rice, grabbed the gun, yelled, gun! And all his friends ran away from him, as he said, with the President of the United States, as they had been trained, not to assist their fellow Secret Service agent, but to just get the President away. How important is the moment Larry Bindorf said President Gerald Ford would call him every September 5th in gratitude. Larry Bindorf also tells the story when he reached for the gun, it cut his hand when he went where the gun caught. He said that cut healed too quickly. He said he was never so proud of an injury in his life. <laughs> he said he kept on jabbing at it to keep it open, to show everybody. This is where I stopped the gun. Help us, Lord. How important are the moments of life? Very important. Especially when God is with us. Now, our lives are always the moment you're in. Your life's not in the past. Your life's not in the future. Your life is always this moment. And God wants to be with us in our moments. Yesterday, two days ago, one of our homeless guests was really pushing the envelope. And uh, there's a wonderful article about our homeless ministry in the United Methodist Relay this month. Praise the Lord, it's on our website. But uh, Mandela went beyond the extra mile. Part of me was even scratching my head, like, you know, there's, there's limits. But then our homeless ministry made this extra move, and because we made that extra move, social services was able to step in and even offer more help beyond what we could ask or imagine for this person. Kind of like the help that was offered to 
command, and, and, and we, we rejoice. Prayer of Jabez. That you bless me indeed, that your hand would be with me. May your hand be with us. Pray for God's presence. Keep us from evil that we may not cause pain. You know, I mentioned Grace Slaughter back this morning. This uh, past summer, I was on my way uh, to, to see Grace. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm just driving along, and out of the corner of my eye, I've never told you this before, I, I see a, a little boy, he's like between two and three years old. Oh, this little boy, just walking on, on, the, on the street. Kept going. All of a sudden, it's like, boom. What did you just see? I quick made an illegal turn. And went back. And this was just a residential street, but it was near a four-lane what I would call four-lane road, like a highway. And I quickly, I called 911, and this kid just kept getting closer and closer to the highway. And the 911, they, they kept me on the phone. And uh, finally I said, hey, hey, get that car out here. I'm disabled, and I can't run after this kid. He's getting closer to the road. And I remember, never being so happy to see a police car. God wants to be with us. God with us in the moments of life. He wants to be inside of us. But he's also behind us. He gives us direction when we need it. God with us. God, you've got to help me. Help us and guide us. Gwen and I were able to make a, a visit to Grace just hours before she went to be with the Lord. May God be with us. That's what we celebrate today. That is God with us. Our Savior came to be with us. To lead us. To guide us. To bless us. To use us in ways beyond which we could ask or imagine. You know, Charles Schultz was a Christian. I remember as a little kid, I would watch a Charlie Brown Christmas. I realized something new that I never knew, though, about a Charlie Brown Christmas. At the end of the story, Charles Schultz always, Schultz always tried to do, tried to get the Christian message into his, into his cartoons. At the end, Charlie Brown asked, Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Linus answers and reads the Gospel of Luke. When Linus shares, fear not, I bring you tidings of great joy. You know, Linus has always got his blanket. When Linus says, fear not, he drops the blanket and raises his two hands to the Lord. Maybe we need to drop some things and raise our two hands to the Lord. Hey, he picks up the blanket again, but then you know how the blanket ends up. It ends up being used to redeem that Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That ain't so bad after all. There's a lot in that story. May we, like Linus, drop our blankets. When I was growing up, I had a little white blanket called it a bubby. B-U-B-B-Y. But may God, God is more powerful than our bubbies. And may God be with each of us in a special way. For the living of these days, hours, minutes, seconds, moments of life. God, please be with us, in us, and beyond us. In your name we pray. Amen. Please pray with me. God, I pray in your name. If you're with me, if you're with us, our lowest low is better with you with us than our highest high without you. 
be with each of us in a special way on this third Sunday when we celebrate in your incarnation that you're with us. And anybody just need a special touch, lift your hands whenever you're watching this. Lord, live in us with your Holy Spirit. We surrender to you. We thank you that you're in us. We also thank you that you're bigger than us. Your name we pray. Whatever our needs are, body, mind, spirit, relationship, our pains, be with us. We need you. Your name we pray. Amen.